three. We want to welcome everybody today to Mom and Dad Talks, where two favorite people are Mom and Dad, and we got the nighttime edition that's going to show every day. How you doing, Mom and Dad? We're doing fine. We're doing money. Oh, How that's right. Would you say that? Yeah. Nothing. I'm going to hit continue. Okay. So, what we're going to talk about today is, is, is this weekend, uh, the Joe Biden has a May Juneteenth, the, the, the Congress and everybody else signed Juneteenth as a national holiday. And for those mm -hmm. of you who do not know what Juneteenth is about, remember, President Abraham Lincoln, the Emancipation Proclamation of 1862, had officially outlawed slavery in Texas and other states that had rebelled against the Union. Now watch this, almost two and a half years earlier, right? Enforcement of the proclamation, because what happened is, is that in 1862, that's when he did it. Juneteenth is June 19th, 1865. And why is this commemorate, commemorated? This is the anniversary where General Order Number 3 by Union Army General Gordon Granger proclaiming freedom for slaves in Texas. Mm -hmm. Two years later. Mm -hmm. Think Almost about three. It. Almost three. Mm -hmm. The first time. Mm -hmm. So when you when you think about this, you know, it's a lot of thoughts in mind. The slavery was still going on, was still tolerated, and it took the armed forces to actually put an end to slavery. Mm-hmm. And then people wonder why we don't want to teach total truth about the history of the United States. You know, most of the time you learn this kind of event when you go to college or you go to a deeper history class. And these are just facts. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and we got people saying, well, we, if, we're, if we're just, you know, showing the facts about the total facts about U.S. history, you have people saying that they don't want to know about it. And I'm just like kind of scared for that because isn't it about just teaching truth and let people decide? That's just my thoughts. So, mom and dad, what are your thoughts about Juneteenth? How do you feel about this? Because you guys experience a lot of stuff in life. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Juneteenth uh, was something I was totally unaware of. And I apologize for it because I was a history teacher, mm -hmm. but it was not in the history books. And once I became aware of it, I was totally, totally disgusted with people that didn't let us free, let us be free, when we were actually free by a presidential uh, proclamation. Mm -hmm. And we were still in slavery. And that is what really got me. But I was really um, impressed with Joe Biden when he signed and made it an official holiday. Yeah. Without question. And not only that, but the 94-year-old woman that had been working at it for years, mm -hmm. walking from Texas to Washington, D.C., and, and uh, getting, her, uh, getting people to sign a petition, how he not only congratulated her, but as the president of the United States, he got down on his knees and kneeled to her and thanked her for what she has done for the United States. And that's the thing that really impressed me. Mm -hmm. that he thanked her for bringing about this uh, hidden part of history that, how do you say it, uh, people are just totally unaware of. They never yeah. knew it actually existed. And uh, hopefully some of our white counterparts will realize that there's much more about slavery that they don't know. Right. And hopefully they will learn more about it. And, and, and what really gets me is there's a lot of white counterparts are saying that slavery was the best thing for black people. <laughs> that is totally, totally uh, ignorant. It, 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 it's totally fascinating to me, Dad, because, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to have moms talking in just a second here, that, that I told one of my friends, if slavery was such a good idea, you know I'm a Christian. You know I'll treat you right. Why don't you be my slave? Because you know I'm going to treat you right. And think about that. Mm -hmm. And that we never had another conversation about that foolishness again. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, 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 I just bring it out that, you know what? No one should treat people like that. 
There's a reason why we had a civil war over it. Mom, what do you think about Juneteenth? I think it's a very good idea. As I think back of what the, they were reporting on the last holiday that was voted on, it was by uh, uh, Ronald Reagan, who uh, voted in Martin Luther King Day, and that was in, way back in 1983. Mm-hmm. And I think that it's, it's sad that it took this long from 1983 up until 2021, almost 40 years later, to honor this date of Juneteenth. And I am very happy that President Biden acknowledged the fact that it will be honored as a holiday. And my prayer is that anything else that is honored for in, in the, in, 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 anything else that is honored in, in Black or uh, Afro-American heritage, I'm hoping that it won't be another 30 years before they find something else that we can honor a day, have a holiday on the calendar for that. Yes, if, if we can honor, honor Christopher Columbus, mm-hmm. who actually came over and enslaved the Native Americans mm-hmm. and killed the Native Americans just to find, and, and a lot of the earlier explorers that were finding out that uh, they weren't as honorable as we thought they were. Mm-hmm. If they can honor those people, then it's about time that we get Juneteenth, is it? Mm-hmm. Juneteenth. On the books. Mm-hmm. And to honor, how do you say it? The freedom of slavery. And they finally let us free. Yes. I realize that, that in the United States of America, the richest uh, country in the world, mm-hmm. that as black people, we are no longer slave in slavery uh, physically, mm-hmm. but we're enslaved economically. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and just to be treated as a human being, we're not talking about being better. We're not talking about taking advantage of people. We're just saying, just treat us like human beings. Treat us like your friend. Treat us like a real neighbor, not treat us like we're inferior like a lot mm-hmm. of people teach and is taught mm-hmm. um, that we can't handle stuff or we don't have mental capabilities. I mean, look at the NFL, you know, the NFL <laughs> put it out clearly that, you know what, uh, these were doctors and think about it, these are physicians saying that black people are not intelligent enough. So, so they couldn't get the money that was due to them. And they say, wait a second, I'm a smart guy. I'm not stupid. The NFL, I took, I took these injuries. I should get my fair share of money. Mm-hmm. And you know, we, we constantly have this thing all the time. And, uh, you know, I think this is a, is a great start to have a conversation about real history. Mm-hmm. You know, look, the good, bad, and the ugly. We don't always get it right the first time. However, mm-hmm. the goal is to get it right. Mm-hmm. And as long as we're striving to do things right, we'll be okay. But if we choose to take the errors of what happened in the past, trying to reintroduce slavery that some people think, we're going to have another war. Think about it. There's a reason why we had a civil war, folk. It was a bad idea. And guess what? It's still a bad idea. We hadn't had a civil war since we abolished slavery. Mm-hmm. So, you know, what do you want to say, Mom? It, it just saddens me that uh, it's the skin color that has held us in captivity all these years. Mm-hmm. And why? The color of the skin makes a difference in the way you have freedom or you don't have freedom. It's just it's just disappointing to know <laughs> that we are judged. We have been judged all these years just because we are a different shade of the ma- majority than ma- the majority of people in this world or country or whatever. So, and, and as a public school teacher, especially a history teacher, and I'm just a lonely retired teacher. Mm-hmm. I feel that black history should be back in the curriculum, mm-hmm. should bring it back in the curriculum. Uh, it was going strong in the 70s and the 80s, and then uh, it dropped. Mm-hmm. It dropped out. And a lot of people are not aware, black and white, mm-hmm. as to what our true history really was all about. And like I said, you're doomed to repeat history if you don't learn from it. That's correct. That's why you study history. What do you say, Mom? We think of the inventions, inventors that mm-hmm. invented things that we needed in this country that have been probably 
wiped out of history books or mm -hmm. not brought mm -hmm. to the attention of the now generation that need to know that everybody has something to contribute to this world that wants to make, you know, to, mm -hmm. to introduce something. And our black people have been put on the back burner of things that they have invented and they haven't been, you know, put, put out there to, for everybody to really take hold of. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've invented a lot of stuff for this country that people are not aware of, like the filament and the light bulb. You know, I can stop go Yeah, stop light. Oh, and, it it, I know. and I went to the, the, and I love the fact that they had the African American Museum um, mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. But there's one floor that's missing from there that I wish they would, would do. And that is all the inventions of what we contribute to the world mm -hmm. created by African American hands that we have contributed because a lot of people think that we're freeloaders. We don't contribute that's anything. Wrong. And that's horrible that, because they're ignorant of the facts right. and they want to stay ignorant of the facts to keep a system in place that's not helping that could make a better world for all of us. Right. Yeah, a, a friend of ours, uh, we were discussing and uh, when I made mention that uh, uh, black people actually built the White House, mm -hmm. his reaction was, well, I have to look that up. Mm -hmm. I have to look that up. They, in other words, I don't believe that. Right. And so when they're aware that, you know, we, the Red Cross and the Blood Bank and, mm -hmm. and a, uh, well, the real McCoy, mm -hmm. and the monkey. Elijah man, McCoy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the gas mask. The gas mask. And, and uh, now they're even thinking about the cotton gin. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, I just think it's just sad. I think it's kind of funny that the fact is, is that, you know, when you teach real history and we're all included in it, you get a different perspective on how you view people, that everybody's capable of doing something great, given an opportunity and a fair opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, that's what should be taught. Like I said, you know, um, I've worked with all kinds of races, all kinds of people. And we always excel because I never looked at their race, never looked at their gender, never looked at whether they were gay or lesbian. I said, this is what we need to do. This is the bar. And they've always exceeded. And I'll challenge anybody. You give me an opportunity to run your company. I'm telling you, it's going to be run great. Mm -hmm. But That's for another time for another session here. But I, I think this is a very thoughtful thing. You guys want to say anything before we, we cut tonight? So, um, or, or everybody's going to see the next day. But anyway, the, the, I, I, I just think all superintendents should really look into putting Black history back into our curriculum. Mm -hmm. Not only for the benefits of Blacks, but whites, Asians, uh, Hispanics. Uh, well, expanded to more than Black history now. Right. Because now we're finding out that other minorities mm -hmm are treated horribly, mm -hmm. just horribly, simply because of their race. And that's that's not right. I don't, that's what the Lord has in, in store for the United States of America. Last thoughts, Mom, before we close out? Well, we want to welcome and thank everybody for joining in Mom and Dan Tuss for a thoughtful conversation on Juneteenth. And I hope you enjoyed this day and I hope you have a chance to really look at history Especially, this gives you a chance to really understand why it exists. Be thoughtful. Be open-minded to understand truth rather than lies so that you can be a better person. So welcome to Dale Mom and Dad Talk. I hope you all enjoyed it. Till next week, we'll talk to you later and have a great one. Bye. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. Good day.